This one's wife. Time to strip. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. If my memory serves me correctly, I do recall that apparently this one's wife on an old resume or CV detailed that she was a stripper, and of course such behaviour would be commensurate with the allegations of her being a yacht girl. And it would appear that once again she is going to be returning to her roots. Imagine this. You're a mediocre actress trying to forge your way in the world by getting known in the Toronto scene and you operate a lifestyle blog. Through massive good fortune, you happen to be hooked up with a dim-witted ginger prince. Utilising your narcissism, albeit subconsciously, you throw some spicy poontang his way, mirror the shit out of him, demonstrate false compassion towards him with regard to his vulnerabilities, keep the beast under control, and you reel him in. Jackpot! What a result! Someone who's easy to control, fountains with fuel, and has access to character traits and residual benefits that you've only dreamt of. You have hit Christmas birthday jackpot times ten. And then you find yourself getting a title, and you're a member of the royal family, and people welcome you, and people give you a staff to help you integrate, and senior members of the family welcome you and give you tutelage in how to assimilate into the organisation. And you're spoken about, and millions are spent on your wedding. The fairy tale, indeed, for so many people. And yet, as a consequence of your middle-mid-range narcissism, you go and fuck it up. So much so that you've been on a downward spiral for some time. Lots and lots of people don't like you. Lots and lots of people ridicule you. The press takes any opportunity it can to point out your faults. Television programmes regularly lampoon you. Comedians join in. And nobody wants to partner with you or do deals with you. Save... It might just be the case that someone's coming to her rescue because it involves, yes, getting back to basics and time to strip. According to that bastion of journalistic excellent heat news, Kim asks this one's wife to strip off for skims, and she might just say yes. Her beloved underwear brand Skims has taken the world by storm, rising in the four short years since it was founded to become the world's go-to label for figure-flattering shapewear and reaching a value of $4 billion in the process. And this week, Kim Kardashian unveiled her plans to take her company to even loftier heights with the release of Skims Men's, adding men's boxes, briefs, undershirts, t-shirts, tank tops and leggings to its constantly expanding collection. Announcing the news with the help of three very fit and famous fellas, Brazilian footballer Neymar, NBA player Shea Gilgius Alexander and NFL player Nick Boza, Kim said in a statement that this marked a major milestone for the brand, adding that having the three famous sportsmen on board to model the line speaks volumes to the way Skims has evolved. But while she's busy celebrating her expansion into men's wear, we're told that, behind the scenes, Kim is already plotting how to take her women's line to the stratosphere, having already found that enlisting big and sometimes unexpected names to model her brand is a marketing gold mine. She's now on the hunt to recruit the very best of the best to strip down for skims. On top of her wish list is, of course, the woman that's still got all of Hollywood talking, Strike a pose, this one's wife. Now, pausing there. Whatever you may think about the Kardashians and their car crash television, they've made billions, and they're clearly business savvy. Is this a calculated gamble by thinking, look, this is a woman who's spoken a lot about, so getting her to shrimp down to her skimpies and pop up some skims is a real marketing coup. Or is this just utter horseshit because someone as business savvy as Kim Kardashian would think, hmm, we picked three fit and famous fellas to do the modelling. We've had other famous women to do the female skim side of things. Am I going to fuck it all up now by hiring somebody that's largely disliked and... Let's not lose sight of this. 
What is there really for her to use skims for? At the moment, she's lost a lot of weight and she looks particularly skinny. Where are those curves and uh, ripples that need to be smoothed down by skims? Also, she doesn't really have the body shape that would necessarily be useful for skims. She's somewhat box-shaped, isn't she, with wide shoulders and no waist, etc. Anyway, given the fact that she probably wouldn't be the best of models and the toxicity that surrounds her, it really is questionable whether someone as business savvy as Kim Kardashian would really want to be involved with her. Is this, of course, the Kardashians using this one's wife to drum up interest again in the product without actually using her? Or might it be this one's wife again touting for business through having it talked about as a possibility with the magical thinking that it will manifest? Getting this one's wife to model for skims would be a huge coup for Kim, says an insider close to the super savvy businesswoman, who knows full well what the right celebrity backing can do. The level of publicity would be unmatched, so she's very motivated to make it happen. Having that endorsement from Classy, really? Fashion Forward, who? Celebrity peers? <laughs> and paying them to be ambassadors alongside her is a big strategy that she's using to grow skims. Well, that might be applicable to other people, but the words Classy, Fashion Forward and Peer are not words that you would associate with this one's wife. So far, she's had some great names on board, but having this one's wife step forward and lend her name and image next would be the ultimate cherry on top. It's true that Skim's marketing strategy has been a dazzling display of what can happen with the right endorsement. Adding to her long line of brand ambassadors, Kim has recently recruited singer Nelly Furtado, actress Lana Condor, and, to much public fanfare, actress Kim Cattrall. The latter, looking amazing at 67, was a massive win for the brand, considering her close association with high fashion quality and luxury. Now, those individuals don't have any controversy surrounding them and therefore are sound selections. According to our source, getting this one's wife on side, in Kim's eyes, would be a similar stamp of approval. We are told Kim's learned a lot about business from her mum, She's very aware that to make the right impact, she needs the very best star power available. This one's wife's internationally acclaimed. Mm, no, she's not. She's glamorous in Kim's eyes. She's not glamorous and is the ideal person to have on board. As for this one's wife's thoughts, our insider tells us that, though this is something she would have instantly disregarded in recent years, presumably because she believes that she's far more important, She's now not giving it such an instant rebuff. Mm, I think the phrase beggars can't be choosers springs to mind. As Heat has previously told you, her initial plans to conquer Hollywood haven't gone quite to plan, despite all efforts to the contrary. While her husband, her and her husband, Prince Harry's Netflix documentary, Harry and This One's Wife, was a ratings hit, they've now dug themselves into something of a hole, where public interest in them lies in them continuing to dish the dirt and open the doors to cameras. In other words, there's pressure on them to do a Kardashian and following the example of America's most famous family by putting themselves more on display than ever before. The fact that earlier this year Spotify pulled the plug on their $20 million audio deal after this one's wife produced just 12 episodes of content for her podcast Archetypes is a sign they're running out of options when it comes to upping their influence and earning potential. Meanwhile, having shut down her personal Instagram page and lifestyle blog The Tig when she married into the royal family, the rumour mill has been in overdrive, yes it has, over this one's wife's plans to relaunch both and take both to new heights. Sources say she's hoping to echo the success of Gwyneth Paltrow, who she and Harry were pictured having lunch with, alongside Cameron Diaz, except they weren't, and their respected husbands earlier this year, and her mega-business Goop. Doing so would mean she'd be stepping fully back into the lifestyle arena, and signing a deal with one of the biggest and hottest brands at the moment would ensure she makes the biggest splash possible. What's more, history has proven that Harry and this one's wife aren't so inclined to turn away from a project if the price is right. Now, desperation certainly leads one to turn that route, doesn't it? If Kim gives this one's wife an offer she can't refuse, then it's very possible that, soon enough, we'll be seeing a splash across billboards in her skimpies, proving the company strap line, everybody's wearing skims. Talks are at a very early stage. Ah, they always are, aren't they? 
This one's wife's hesitant to put herself in the firing line right now, so it does seem like a long shot, even if she does have a lot of respect for Kim and a growing relationship with her family as a whole. But Kim's willing to be patient. She's saying the door is open whenever this one's wife's ready. This is a long-term goal that she's quietly confident is something she'll ultimately pull off. Well, you can make of this what you will. But let us assume that this is, most likely, this one's wife again attempting to cause things to manifest by pumping stuff out there with the expectation that someone will go, actually, that's a good idea, let's do it. But look at this. It shows her desperation once again, driven by her narcissism. But ultimately, if she were to actually do it, and of course it would be driven by that huge residual benefit of money, there you are, a duchess, in your skimpies, plastered across billboards. Hmm, classy indeed. And look, once again, how far you'd fallen, and what you threw away, all because your narcissism was not up to the job. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.